I'm too sexy for I want to talk about handle. this piece by Loewe, which was in the recent Runway show. I find it fascinating because I think it's looking both backwards and forwards at the same time, and is an interesting application of the 30-year trend rule. Fashion theorist Ryan, and I'll link to them, has referenced Habbo Hotel, and I think this sort of 8-bit reference is right, but um, there's more to it than that. The thing is, Habbo Hotel was launched in 2000, but it looked like this. Sims was also launched in 2000. What Habbo did was deliberately apply a retro aesthetic reason for doing this is that there's kind of an arms race in computer games to have the latest flashy graphics and one way that companies sidestep that is to go in the opposite direction. A more recent example is what Minecraft did, very knowingly retro. Abo in 2000 was actually referencing back to things in the early 90s like this 1992, 30 years ago, a Street Fighter which is 8-bit 16-bit graphics. Why this is also looking forward is that we now have Meta, which is the third or fourth generation of virtual world. And in all graphical virtual spaces, there develops one of many things, and, and, and that thing is an interesting fashion and fashion culture. You've had that in things like Habbo Hotel, Star Doll, Second Life, it always occurs. Now in Meta, we've got a forward-looking version of that. But what I think we also have, and I'd be very interested in the reactions of teenagers and 20 year olds to this kind of aesthetic, is that with the kind of instant availability of lots of imagery, to some degree, I think we're sort of destroying the notion of, 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 of trends and, and periods. So this seems almost as relevant as, say, Art Nouveau, in that it's just another aesthetic which can be picked up, used and remixed. So whilst I think in one way, and particularly for the headlines and the writers, this is trading on a 20 stroke, 30 year cyclical thing to get it in the news. I don't think it's necessarily leaning on that in terms of why people might like it or find it interesting. What are your thoughts?